that's here. Finally, the first game of the regular season in the Hyundai A-League is here. But first, we've got some business to take care of. So let's jibber-jabber. Let's get into it. Folks, we are facing Central Coast today in the first game of the regular season, as mentioned. But let's have a look, quick look at a couple of bits and bobs that we can touch over from last time. So we go to the club's uh, details here. And the affiliations, what I have done is dropped Tasman as an affiliate. It just wasn't, I mean... Real life, it doesn't. It didn't happen. Impossibility to happen, as far as I'm concerned, as far as I can see, is because we already have a team in the same league. Wouldn't happen. So they were dropped. Uh, massive changes with this coaching um, layout. So we've got a lot better there now. Still a little bit of areas to improve on, but overall a lot better than it was. Um, the big one for me is this one here. Chris Greenacre, uh, former reserves manager in real life, uh, has taken the manager's job as a caretaker role a couple of times. Um, so he's been appointed, as you can see, as my assistant manager. So pretty happy with that. Also, if we uh, look at the transfers now, that's the biggie. But before we do that, it's hidden the finances. Last time we joined you, we were pretty much rough. Uh, we have managed to get a bit more cash injected into the club, mainly because of TV revenue and other sponsorship deals. As you can see, we've spent a bit of money. <laughs> but first of all, let's discover who we got in. So I got Archie Mayer in. Uh, it's free transfer here from, um, I believe we got him from, or oh, free transfer, yeah. He comes to us from another team. I just kind of remember here. Yep, Aberdeen. He was um, available on a freebie, so we took him. Pretty happy. He's only a young kid. You know, he's 20 years old, but a lot of potential there. Exciting young prospect. Uh, and as you can see, you know, for the potential there is a uh, three and a half star. So that's, I'm pretty happy with that at the moment as a understudy. We then uh, Francisco Flore. Uh, yet another young player here from the Phoenix, uh, Perth Glory. So, um, born from Perth Glory here. And, yeah, not bad. Defended left. This was not a signing I brought in. This was a signing from my head of youth development. Um, and I just uh, finalised the um, the contract. Pretty happy. I think it'll be all right as, in the future uh, compared to who we had at the time as reserves, especially. Uh, this guy is someone to look forward to. And at just 19 years old, decent reputation with potential of a four-star. Now, this guy, Eugene Thilhuk, I don't know how you'd say that last name. Uh, Tech Chuck. I don't know. We'll just call him Eugene. Uh, <laughs> Yes, splashed the cash. As you would have seen, we had a couple of old defenders. Uh, we, they were a bit slow. This fella brings in some pace for starters. A lot of experience as well. Um, he's come in as a designated player in the um, salary cap there. Fantastic stats. Um, I would like a bit more in the leadership, but I've put him as my vice captain anyway. Um, at 30 years old, I think we can get a few more years out of him. Came from Brentford um, in Division, yeah, a League One team. So um, he came on our radar through our scouts, and I thought, you know, it'd be worth it. Uh, we did go for him aggressively. Took a while. We splashed the cash, as you can tell. Uh, basically, it's a final deal of 1.7 million, and it raises up to 2 million, depending on other clauses here. <clears throat> we only splash out a Cash was 1.3 on on out front. I think he's worth it. You'd let me know what you think. And yes, Harpreet Singh is come back. Welcome back. Um, I went through some of the um, transfers and released players that had gone out from the last four years uh, to see if I could locate some from real life. And a lot of them had been released, and a lot of them actually had retired. Singh, however, he would been taken. He was in the um, 
he was in Team Millington. So we managed to snap him back up. I'm really happy with that result. And um, currently he is, well, we're, we're, we're training him as a winger. Uh, just because I think he'll offer a little bit more there, but he can play as a advanced midfield attacking role and as a shadow striker, it seems to work. We're going to play around with him a little bit, but he's I'm great, great to have him back. Only 22 years old, and I think he'll be uh, something that we can probably help. Charlie Brown. Another guy, we had him on trial for about four weeks. Uh Took about two and a half, no, it took about three and a half weeks before he'd even look at a contract. Uh, he was just wasn't interested. He performed well in the friendlies, so I thought it'd be worth snapping up. He's only 22 years old. He, he's an English fella, um, and comes from us from Stoke, but again from on, on a freebie. He had been released really from Stoke, so um, I think he'll be good in the future. I mean, straight away he's got a good pace and decent finishing about him. There's a lot of yellows there, so there's a lot of areas that he can improve on, and I think with game time and his training, uh, he will be. Currently, we're going to be playing him as a defensive forward, just mainly because of um, just sort of tactics at this stage. And also, Alex Shakespeare, this is a player that, again, head of youth development um, brought in, offered the contract. I had a look. I was very happy with this fella for a 19-year-old, so I approved the contract. Straight away, finishing of 16 and pace of 12, natural fitness almost through the roof. Fantastic acceleration. Those physicals are just fantastic. And good technique as well. So I think this guy, he's currently in the reserves, but I'm going to give him some game time. Unfortunately, in the A-League, we don't really have cups like the FA or the League Cup where we can kind of bleed youth or reserve players. But I think he'll get a few um, games under his sleeve. Now let's have a look at um, the players out. A few of you may not agree with these. Yeah. So we need a bit of cash and Jacob bought a stall humming and hiring about him. He wasn't happy and um, overall I didn't think from what we had at the time that he would be any good to us even at 24. So I put him on the market and Coventry came and snapped him up to 300,000. Chris Harold, uh, he went to the Phoenix of Sydney for free. You may remember me mentioning that I didn't think he's worth of anything anyway, and no one would pick him up. So until um, I put him as, you know, for free or release, and Sydney picked him up. Uh, Goran Paraki, now this guy had served us for well for a long time, as you will see here um, if I move my mouse. But in terms of what we had coming through, a lot of exciting young players, um, and I needed to make some room underneath my foreign rule cap and to you know get that central defender. And at 34 years old, he was going to be his last season anyway. Um, so I decided to just let him go, and he has gone back to his homeland of Croatia. So we um, got 80k for him there. And Zach Jones, he's only on loan. He's on loan to one of our affiliates. Now, I just want to cover here now, if I can. So Michael McGlinchey, who's a follow the Phoenix, yep. Yeah. Michael McGlinchey, his contract was re, um, due to expire at the end of uh, June of June July, anyway. So I just let it run. I had no intention of keeping him. Uh, he has some fairly still decent mentors, but I just didn't have any place that I wanted to fit him there. Uh, and yeah, so he's gone. Then we released a whole other bunch of other uh, players. Uh, Marco Rossi here. A lot of people will be surprised probably by Rossi. Uh, Store it for the club. He had played for the club for quite a number of years, as you'll see from that. But um, he was, when I bought the new defender, he stank the room up with a hissy fit. And he wasn't unhappy, he was just miserable. So it's like, all right, bug you. No one would come in. So it was, okay, sell or release. And often a mutual termination, he took it. Still fairly decent, I think, but he hasn't been. Um, picked up yet he's a free agent but yeah so that's another one i would have liked to have kept him around but he just wasn't going to be he was just a sulky sue and the other one um jason gully there just a yoth and cooper boswell just another 
player we just kind of got rid of. So that is the transfers in and out. So let us go now to the team selection. Let's get into this. So we are playing Central Coast. I think we've got a good chance of winning here because Central Coast, um, if you have a look at the preseason odds now, all right, folks, so it looks like Sport Pisa have put some odds out for the titles. Uh, we are rated at 900 to 1, um, and they suggest we uh, look at avoiding embarrassment of finishing bottom. As you can see there in the right-hand side, they've listed us as ninth uh, with Central Coast just below us. We'll see what happens at the end of the season, shall we? You can see the, the betting odds there. They pretty much said it all. Righty ho so this is the team we've got. Now, as I mentioned in the rules in a couple of episodes ago when we went over the A-League, they don't recognise international windows. In reality, that is going to happen as of next season. But in FM land, that doesn't happen, and it won't happen until FM 19. So that has meant, if you look at all these, I have one, two, three, four, five players who are on international duty. My first choice, goalkeeper. <laughs> My first choice, uh, well, one of my um, top, yeah, first team uh, attackers, Sing there, and um, some good substitutes as well. So we're kind of going, to, I'm a bit worried about the goalkeeping in more than anything. But we are playing my 4-4-2, as uh, I said. I have been playing around with it the last few weeks because of some injuries, but we've gone back to the standard 4-4-2. So we've got Mare in goal. We've got uh, Hugart and Galloway as fullbacks. In the middle, we have Eugene and Mullen. In the midfield, we have Hula and Amanikis on the flanks and Rose and Spencer. Peralti on the central of the field. It's called central midfield. Up front. As ever, we have Brown and Krishna. So let's get into it. Encourage, it's the same old same. Um, we're, we're away. Uh, see, one thing I want to know, this thing here this always comes in a team talk. I know a lot of you were keen to avenge what happened last time. Why is that in there, FM? I can understand if, you know, if it was the same season, but I wasn't the manager at that time. I don't give a damn. You know, it's shit. There's a lot of things you need to change. Good luck, lads. Let's go and pull off an upset. Hand over to the assistant. Ooh, what did he have to say? Something nice. Charlie liked it. All right, kick off and nope. Tunnel time. Your team today has been heavily impacted by... <laughs> Tell me about it, bro. Tell me about it. How do you see this? Oh, can I be like, this is... Let's have a look. Ah, it's absolutely shambolic that we're being denied the services of our players at this time. Club football should always take priority. Damn right. Marr. Oh. <laughs> Felix suffered defeat. I don't give a shit. I really don't have anything to say. Yep, that's close as us. All right. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. The Hyundai A League. Okay. Oh my god, the preseason has been taking forever. My god, I didn't go over the schedule. Ah, we'll catch up after this game or when we um, touch on the schedule. I'll show you the schedule, see how we went in preseason. Okay, okay. So Krishna's on the ball straight away. Where did it come from? Ladies, ladies, ladies. Ha, ah, Krishna. <laughs> I want to say Hari Hari Krishna. Is that so bad? Oh, but Krishna. Krishna. Beautiful ball there by Eugene, just smacks it forward, and Krishna slots it home. I like it when they slot it home. Hmm. Right. <laughs> oh, I am so happy. It's, I've been waiting for this regular season to start. Oh. I've seen the preseason. It's ruddy long uh, in this time, part of the world. Corner. Amadekas, or whatever his name is, scores <laughs> nicely done. Yeah, I need to have a look at that and try and break it down. Oh, what a goal. What a goal. What a great start. 15 minutes in, 2 0 up. Come on, Phoenix. Headed down by Eugene, and arm in the cuss just slots at home. Very good, very good. Now, let's give them a bit of encouragement here. Oh, I almost a third goal. 
We're looking, okay, yeah, they're looking a bit nervous. Okay, so they're on that. Well done, Armacaeus. Finds uh, Krishna, fobs it forward to Brown. Oh, flopped it. Dot. Yeah, <laughs> that went to crap. All good until the finish. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, so 32nd minute now. Spencer's got the ball. Rebounded off their player. Doyle, Gillette. Kaleta goes for goal. Oh, skimmed the top of the bar. Pew, skimmed that bar. All right, come on, 36 minutes. I'm going to put out a, a concentrate just before the half. Things are going well. 2-0 up, but still only halfway through. 46 minutes. Come on. Yeah, two minutes ahead of time. Let's get into it and then finish the added time. Okay. Half time. Let's get into the dressing room. What do you have to say, Chris? I think we should let the team. We appreciate the efforts. No shit, Sherlock. We're going to go assertive. Very pleased with your problems. Keep it up, lads. And so no greens. Eh, okay. Oh, we've got thumbs up. Let's get into it. Come on. Come on. Okay. So we kick off the ball here. Cool. Spencer goes long. Chris. Okay, that's the end of the highlight. Mid-header. Beautiful. Wunderbar. I like that header. Who's looking frustrated from their team? Who cares? Let's go. Throw in for Galloway. Finds Brown. Oh, disposed of. Good tackle there from the defence. Now they're on the break. Okay, looks like our defenders are trying to... Thank God he got greedy there, but uh, fullback just couldn't catch up with him. He got too far forward there. <clears throat> Again, Spencer with the corner. Headed away by Burgess, but Brown heads it to Hoodle. Whoa! Took a shot, hit the upright, and bounced out. Let's just see if we can make some changes. Let's have a little run. Let's run at them for a little bit. Krishna heads it. Ah, who are you? Spencer just didn't see the head, just gave it the ghost. But who forward by the keeper? Roderick. Kaletis pushed back, but Roderick's got the ball. Gillette. Oh, Rose. Ah. They're looking to move it on there now. And Calipone finds Galati. He's going to go for goal. Yes, off the upright. Lucky. Okay, so it's now back with us. Brown switches it to find Krishna. Krishna's going to go and Hoodle. What's he going to do there? No. He didn't know what he's going to He didn't, just didn't know what he's doing. Panicking. Oh, some of the uh, yeah transfers, none of the North Shore guys. I mean, a couple of them were adequate enough to come through probably. Um, definitely Mitchell would have been a good prospect, but they didn't, uh, I, from what I had at the moment, I'd probably look at maybe later, and the values these guys uh, were after, Kangrid was another, they're wanting, you know, just crazy amounts, right, half time, okay, so Galloway is getting found out, I just want to have a nosy Rosie, his pace is okay, but he's playing okay, Right, like, we've got that lead, so let's go, let's play fullback defend. Let's have you go fullback defend as well, so we're just going to line our guys up pretty much in the back there. Spencer's struggled a little bit today, but I'm going to push this there. I'm going to go Spencer to a defense mid, defense playmaker. I'm going to put Rose as a Calarello support. See what these differences are. He's playing well there, but knackered. Uh, I just find who can come on, because he's just coming back from some sort of a little injury. or well, not a little injury. Injuries have been crazy. And uh, you know what? I think we'll leave it at that. I don't want to make too many changes right now. So, yep, that's it. Play just the one sub, yeah. Injuries we, uh, a few weeks after uh, into pre season, 
Um, those guys I've you know listed there told you. Uh, Brown, nah. Anyway, yeah, they uh, just bang bang big long injuries. I got two long term injuries. Uh, well, actually, sorry, one. Uh, really long term injury. He's out for like pretty much the season. Uh, so, luckily, it happened. Oh, they're in the back. Ah, oh, they pulled one back. Okay, I'm not up at that. Not up at all. Let's tell them to bloody tighten up. Let's go counter. I'm gonna stop running into the fence now. Um, let's just go counter. No, no, yeah. Actually, you know what we're going to try? <laughs> now they're breaking the wall. Okay, booty. I'm trying your wall out, mate. Let's see how it does. I don't care how they play. Don't care how they play. Well, he plays as a defensive midfielder, so let's put him there. Uh, Krishna, central midfielder, go there to Brown. Let's put Brown on there. Put Higgins. Okay, confirm. Yes, confirm. Right. Come on. Yeah, come on. Galloway, it's yours. Mullen to Higgins. Oh, intercepted, and Inter thank goodness he's back there to take that out. Okay, we'll take that final whistle. Excellent, great stuff, lads. Okay, Canberra Stadium's looking pretty good. I think we we got lucky there. I think we should, you know, do appreciate the efforts. Um, great result, guys. Yeah, good result. Lay. Okay. So there we have it, guys. We will come back to that double header in Sydney. Thanks a lot, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, first episode of Wellington Phoenix, getting into the nitty-gritty now into the season. It's always good to start off a new season. If you're new to this channel, guys, please, I hope you do subscribe. If you like what you see, hit that like button. And if you are subscribed, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of these videos. And as always, comment down below. I really do appreciate the comments, and I do love replying to them. All right, guys, I am Pakira. Thank you very much.